All right, guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am continue working on the bridge board restoration part four. In this video, I am focusing only on the head. If the video get longer than fifteen minutes, and I need to make one more part for this project, the video could get longer than fifteen minutes. Uh, that's because. No You know guys, when I start restoring this bridge board, I thought this the head of the bridge board needed a lot of uh, parts and the pulleys and belts. Now I see this is completely fine. Someone before me had a service and changed the belts, the pulleys, and now you can see these belts are new. So 
but uh, I do not need anything to border. It has been rubber dust built up around here. This is very normal for this kind of machines because it, they run all the time and they make some rubber dust here. So this, after a few months of work, I've uh, worked with this machine and this much dust gonna be built up here. So this is very normal and they are completely fine. No wears and tears and just they run like a new and I do not need to do anything with this. Now, I don't know how long ago, maybe five or six years ago or 10 years ago, it has been serviced and changed every pulleys and the uh, belts. And sin since then it has been parked in one place and did very little work. That's, I can tell from this, you see, this is comes from it has been parked. Now the belt goes here like this and this this little has been <laughs> now I have to do it with my hand. A lot of work. It takes like at least half an hour to clean these two parts. Now it, this too is very easy because it's just only rubber dust and some other parts has a lot of grease and rust anything and every single parts I have to do clean with a brush, a small brush with my hand and my hands looks like this. Alright guys, I stitch this one because the, it has limb under between the carpet and this washer here and it was about to fall down that's why I stitch it and it, it has to be here. So you know this is for the oil, the spindle oil. You put oil here like a few drops of oil and it will, the oil takes like one till two to get it slowly between this nozzle and come here and make this uh, carpet wet when your spindle spins and this carpet keeps oiling your uh, spindle. If you do not put oil here af after two three months and you need to change this part, this 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 part, and you need to change the ball bearing and this part and this one. So this is not cheap. I will put in the screen. 
and you will see how much it will cost it did, it cost like a, a few thousand dollars so it is very expensive to repair this one This is almost complete, but I have one small knot left, six millimeter. It belongs the outside, not from inside, because it has some pain and some dust and debris on it. And I have been checking everywhere. I couldn't find where it belongs. So, it is now it's time to take this by little crane and put in the bridge. You can tell this neck back. Rotate the, the motor also, the motor housing and the gearbox. Just like this. There is one, two, three screws. You can loosen. It's 19 millimeter. And you can move this bridge board and you can just move it to the side. Alright guys, I just ran out of editing. There is a lot of work left here. I need to make one more part for this project. Until then you have to stay tuned. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Yes!